the pixels here. So I'm selecting the background because it's simpler to get the selection. Now we're still going to have to go in and work on this part. So let's go ahead and zoom just to teach you again to show you we can use other selection tools to keep working on our selection. So we're selecting from the background. So we want to subtract this from the selection. All right, so you just go ahead and with your deselection tool, just cover the area you want to deselect. All right. And we can use the magic wand here. Too much. Just lower the tolerance. Bring it up. Just adding the selection white, so we're adding to the selection. And let's raise our tolerance. Just to bring this in here. We're just dealing with different shades of white here, so I'm just tweaking the tolerance a little too much, going back with Control Z, just getting our selection based on the levels range of our selection point. So just going ahead and modifying our selection here. Just selecting the background. And that's good enough for now just to show you again. So let's go ahead, right click and select inverse. Once again, W for magic wand. And Z, Alt to zoom. Okay, so we got a selection there. Just go back to our original and let's drag her in. And let's look at the layer order here. So we have to bring her up here. There we go. And I recommend not upsizing. <laughs> but in this case, we're just dealing with different resolutions for web. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with it. And uh, let's give ourselves some other options as well here. She's a little overexposed, so let's try without the color balance. It's a little better. So what we can do is a load selection and then go to the layer mask on the color balance and we can knock it out just by alt backspacing. Right, because it's only applying just to that layer because there's nothing in between these layers. All right, and we can always change it back, anyways. So you can go ahead and just get other selection options. Select inverse. Once again, these are photos.com, and just bring other options in. Yeah, we would want to get rid of this. Okay. Control X. Did I just cut her foot off? No, that's the reflection. Okay. Of the floor. I'm pretty sure. All right. Yeah, just to give yourself different options here. And you can always hide them. All right, so this guy can be hanging from the rafters just to get your creativity going. I'm not working on that selection right now. The tones are too similar. It's going to take too much time. This should be good. Just select in the background. Not taking too much time. Because there's such a difference in the color and tone, it should be decent up here to get the selection. So you can use a higher tolerance of pixel range. And Let's get this as well, at least bring it down to the table. And let's go ahead and bring in another selection tool, just the lasso on add to selection. And just wrap around these areas here. Okay, just add those to selection. Selections are an important area to consider getting close to mastering because selections are extremely important in almost all design <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and oops w select inverse all right so we have our main character selected let's move her in sometimes it gets too complicated and you might have too much going on for example we did a special you know color balance here 
um, you just something you're gonna have to work with all right but then we can work from here updating layer states and so forth so actually we can bring this one back and if you're moving a layer and you don't know what's going on like I'm doing right now undo it and take a look at your layers palette remember what I said earlier you gotta look at your layers palette see what is the actual layer that is active so right here now we have the layer selected that I want what do we do with this there's a couple things you can do I would say just go ahead and let's get our polygonal lasso just go ahead and select the table itself and just stretch it out actually let's just get a simpler selection okay now you it's just another option cut so she's still sitting on a bench kind of a thing so it's just you know decision making live and uh, working with your different options here maybe just bring her down there and you know we can even hide the chapel here bring our color balance back and uh, we can always disable this layer mask so there we go so several different options here let's go ahead and save this as another layer state and we can just bring this in okay we can just bring it in have that here as a foreground hide some of these other layers getting a little too busy we'll come back to that and let's hide her actually and we're gonna want to get rid of this just carefully alright so now we're working with different different layers going on here but we can have different layer states as well and actually this would be a great background so we may have to go back to the original which I just completely chopped up <laughs> remember that usually I make copies but I was just going with it so I think we still got that one up somewhere we can just bring it in again here just have that as a backdrop we're just gonna have to increase the size of it oops just scale it up Control T so you can have that as a background get rid of our rulers control R and if it's getting too busy don't worry about it. we can just make a new layer state and then just switch back to the other ones so you can have this or that sunset background here maybe do a uh, new adjustment layer maybe get it more red and passionate okay and uh, once again the layer order is something we're going to have to be aware of So we can move it uh, above this layer to have it affect them as well, which is too much. But we can change the blend mode and get it mixing. For those steamy Havana nights. There we go. Just doing a little layer magic here. Um, blending mode magic. That's not magic right there, though. <laughs> All right. Maybe put a moon up there or a different background. And you can save this as a different layer state. So let's call it something. And then we can just switch. Bam. And we're back to before.